Hey, Fire Commentary number 240, we get this fucking game. <laughs> now, obviously, I knew what was coming, because this was part of the whole uh, challenges that I rolled out in this motherfucker. Man. But anyway, Hey, Fire Commentary number 240, Gurgner Descent in Destiny. And this was part of a set of challenges that I rolled out. Now, the set of challenges that I rolled out was actually before um, Destiny had actually released and shit like that. So, obviously, I didn't know what the hell, you know, the, the, the full game was going to be like. I didn't know exactly what the challenges were going to be. So, I just basically rolled out a couple of uh, random challenges and shit like that. I tried to go off of what, what the uh, the trophies were in the game. You know, if you check your, your PlayStation trophies or achievements, you can see exactly some of the, the things that you needed to do. So, I saw one of them. I believe this is the... Um, the Cabal Headshot Mission. I saw one of the challenges was uh, kill 25 Cabal or something like that with the headshots. Get the, the, the trophy for that shit. Uh, whatever the fuck. It, it needed to have tw uh, 25 headshots for uh, Cabal. If I'm not mis I believe that's the one. I hope that's the one. If it's not the one, oh well, I picked another damn challenge. <laughs> but I know he completed it. I just haven't checked the website because it's been so fucking long since I rolled out this challenge and shit like that. And I see he's doing the uh, Cerberus Vi, Volus to Arc, fucking strike mission. Oh, God, that shit is a pain in the ass. Talk about that in a second, man. Anyway. You know, when I rolled out those challenges, I didn't know this game was going to be as empty as it was. I didn't know this game was going to be as over-marketed and over-hyped as it was. So, naturally, a lot of people were on, on the Procedure Gamers forums. A lot of people were like, ah, I'm getting this game. It's going to be a day one purchase. I'm going to buy this one. You're blade dancing. Oh, yeah, this is going to go real well. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to end well for you if you go in that room with this fucking class, man. Yeah, go ahead. Keep running in. See what happens. This motherfucker's going to try and blade dance that son of a bitch, man. See, now, now I know that this was uh, from a while ago, you know, this, this is, uh, I'll tell you right now, these videos are from a while ago, people submitted this shit, so I see that he has a 20 and a 21 in the room, he might not be too far away from that as long as he's like a 29 or something, who in the fuck knows, man. You know, with the way this game works and the raid and all that, but I didn't get into that shit, man, but anyway, like I was saying, a lot of people on the, the PG's forums, they were like, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna buy this game because it looks pretty good, let's be honest, the commercials for Destiny were pretty damn good, nobody can argue with that point because Activision knows how to market a game. That's what they know how to do. What happens with these games, though, is that the studios have to come through on the promises and commercials that Activision knows how to make. And these commercials show that this was going to be a grand product and all this other bullshit. So now when you get the game, you realize, okay, they did not come through on this shit entirely. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are wondering, why do you still play this game? Why do you... I hate this fucking shit. You know, this is what pisses me off about this. Shoot him in the fucking head. What's wrong with you? Why should He's not a Vex. What the fuck are you doing? Shoot him in the head. I'm a, oh, God. There you go. There's the head. I don't know what the fuck you were shooting at. You didn't shoot him in the dick. That's the other head. <laughs> I want to see you blade dance that motherfucker, man. Now, what pisses me off about this boss is that he gets to fire those rockets. I think he gets to fire it twice at you. Look at this fucking spawn. Yeah, let's see if he knows. This was a while ago, so I don't know if he'll know the, the cheese spot that people go to. No, but that the I can't tell what shotgun that is. Looks like, no, it's not the crash. I have the crash. Uh, you know what all these guns start looking like and shit? They're probably blue guns uh, from the looks of these motherfuckers. You know, like rares, not uh, legendaries and shit. No, what pisses me off about this guy is that when he comes into the room, he's firing his weapon off, you know, like popping shots in the air like he's in a Tupac video. <laughs> no, but the motherfucker can shoot you, but you can't shoot him. He stays immune. Oh, we get to see his little, yeah, yeah it looked like a Shingeni. He stays immune until some random determined point where all of a sudden, okay, now I'll take damage. It's like, what the fuck, man? How the fuck is that fair? Why don't you just let him, if he shoots us, take damage the way he should be? Why can he kill me, but I can't kill him right from the start? Eh, it's just fucking stupid, man. And you'll see, this is this has got to be the biggest bullet sponge boss in the entire game. This is the end of the, the one of the strike missions. But my god, man, this guy just absorbs bullets like there's no tomorrow. It's just fucking ridiculous. I'm And, and that goddamn rocket shit that he fires, man, that shit will fuck you up real quick, man. No, but anyway, like I was saying, everyone on the Prestige Games forums was really excited about the game. So they're all like, you know what, fuck it, let's go buy this damn game. And now that we've played it, people probably wonder, why do you still play this game? Now, I'll tell you right now, the game's empty. We know that. The, ga the game has problems. It has a massive amount of problems. It wasn't a perfect game. However, the parts that are in the game, they're fun. It's incomplete as shit. The game needs more content. The game needed more content. The game needed to fill the open world with a whole bunch more shit. We know that Bungie overfucked this game beyond belief. However, the parts that are in the game, as repetitive as they are, they're fun. There's no way around that. The raid is spectacular. I mean, although it's a little bit glitchy, but as far as content-wise, with six people in a room with puzzles and you have to hold down your part, you have to each trust each member in the team, that shit is amazing. The problem is, there's not enough of that. The games, we know, people have heard the story, there was just no fucking story at all. <laughs> 
The bounties every day are repeat after repeat after repeat. They make you play these story missions day in and day out. Oh yeah, I want to see you take them on with a shotgun. <laughs> hey, I don't know if this is your first time playing this shit, but man, that was a wrong gun to choose up in this motherfucker, man. Yeah, you better kill somebody and hope to get some ammo. No, but like I was saying, man, the, the, the content itself is decent. The problem is there's just not enough of it. There's just way too little of it to actually make this feel like a complete game and shit like that. And obviously they're going to sell us the complete game in the DLC, which is total bullshit, which is what pisses people off, is that this should not have happened like this. I mean, what they showed us in all the commercials looked like this grand game, yet what we actually got in the game was severely lacking. Is that the Galahorn? Mm, no, that doesn't look... I can't tell. I couldn't see the... the I don't know if that was a Galahorn or not. I could not tell what that was. That might have been the Galahorn. Yeah, hey, whatever, man. I, was, I, I didn't look at. I should have looked at his uh, his loadout a little bit more closer, but I didn't look at that shit a little that close, man. Man, man, man. I wish this game had more content. As you guys know, I'm, I'm gonna do the blueprint series and shit like that. But I really wish that. The, look at. The, I was about to say, if you walk in front of your teammate, you're gonna give him a. <laughs> Nah, man, but I really wish that this game actually gave us the content that we were promised when it showed all these trailers and shit like that. But you know what? In the meantime, I'm still playing it because, let's be honest, there isn't anything else out right now. That's just the reality. I mean, what are we going to play? Advanced Warfare? Come on, man. Really? I'm always going to play that shit from the start. And even though, as people have been reporting, the lag in that game has been terrible. I mean, one thing, people complain about Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, Call of Duty Ghosts wasn't up to par and shit like that. The servers worked. People have to give them credit for that. Call of Duty Ghost wasn't too bad when it came to the server side. It actually fucking worked for the first time. But now you get all these other games, whether it was Black Ops 2, Advanced Lag Fair. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad that they actually took a step back. They said it was going to be dedicated servers, but for some reason it's not dedicated or it hasn't come out. I don't know what the fuck their logic was behind that shit, man. Man, not playing that shit. Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, man, that's gone through glitch after glitch after glitch. It's gone through public relations problem after public relations problem. I'm telling you right now, man, Ubisoft has really fallen off the mat when it comes to games and shit like that. They made a lot of mistakes, and it really makes me curious about what's going to happen with the Division. The Division looked good, but let's be honest. Ubisoft has fucked up in about three of their past four games. The crew is, is one of the ones that are going to be coming up and shit like that. But they have been fucking up left and right. They fucked up Watch Dogs, which everybody knows that they messed that one up. Uh, Assassin's Creed has been an absolute nightmare for people who want to play that shit. You also have Far Cry, which should be a pretty decent game. A lot of people like Far Cry and shit like that. But they have all that locked DLC content and shit like that. The crew looks pretty good. People enjoy the driving of that game, but a lot of people said it's a little bit empty. They don't know if it's going to be like a Destiny kind of thing where the beta is actually the normal game. <laughs> but I don't trust that shit, man. But anyway, there's just nothing else to play. So that's why Destiny's holding me over until something else better comes. I don't know, maybe Little Big Plants. <laughs> something eventually man anyway getting back into this joint for those who don't know this boss right here this is like bullet sponge 101 this motherfucker just does not die now this is not nightfall or anything this is not a it could be the weekly strike i don't know but i think the weekly strike starts at uh, level 22 whatever man this guy does not fucking die at, at all he, he just takes bullet after bullet after bullet and one of the things that people have to do when you do the nightfall challenges nightfall is one of the the harder challenges in the game you have to hide against almost every single boss there's just no way around having to fight that shit because one of the challenges with nightfall is if the entire team dies you get knocked back to orbit you don't go back to a checkpoint you get knocked out of the entire mission completely. So what you end up having to do is you have to cheese the boss because the last thing you want to do is actually get knocked out to the sky and you have to do this shit all over again. So a lot of people will go to the cheese spots against this guy in particular because he's brutal. Hey, that guy in the cheese spot? I couldn't even tell. The level 21 looked like he was in the cheese spot. No, but the, 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 the boss is just fucking brutal. And you guys see it. He's firing off shot after shot. If he's looking at you, you have to take cover. And then your other teammates have to pop out. And they have to keep a, keep, uh, get a couple shots on him. He's also firing rockets out of his ass. Oh, man. This guy is a pain in the ass. He's not difficult at all the rockets. He's not difficult. It's just that he's fucking cheesy as hell. The amount of damage that he takes and the amount that he can dish out once he sees you. It's fucking absurd, man. But I'm sure right about now... Gergner is really hoping he would have taken a sniper rifle. <laughs> Probably like, man, I should have taken that fucking sniper rifle that I have, man. It's just a pain in the ass. But anyway, you see that he's wearing down now. That, that looks like his uh, final resting spot. He'll stay right there until he dies. But I mean, this shows you, man. This is just a fucking pain in the ass of a fight there. He's finally dead. You're going to go get your little triangle. Hopefully you get your triangle. You know to get the triangle in this motherfucker. After every strike mission, you got to go get this little uh, triangle. It might be worth about 200 glimmer. That's it. You did all that work. Uh, network keys, is that what you could I can't remember if you cashed that shit in, man. Man, whatever, man. So I don't remember what the quite challenge was. I think it was 25 headshots or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. I really don't give a shit at this point. I just want to do the hipfire commentary. <laughs> 
Anyway, there's the end of the video. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video.